Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Virtues of asking forgiveness from Allah. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Ask forgiveness of Allah, his most forgiving and merciful. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. It is a grace from Allah upon his servants that he, the Almighty, has facilitated for them the path of repentance and seeking his forgiveness. As he, glory be to him, said, My servants who have harmed yourselves by your own excess, do not despair of Allah's mercy. Allah forgives all sins. He is truly the most forgiving, the most merciful. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said in his Qudsi hadith, Allah the Exalted has said, O son of Adam, I forgive you as long as you pray to me and hope for my forgiveness. Whatever sins you have committed, O son of Adam, I do not care of your sins reach the highest of the heaven. Then you ask for my forgiveness, I would forgive you. O son of Adam, if you come to me with an earth load of sins and meet me associating nothing to me, I would match it with an earth load of forgiveness. Seeking forgiveness from Allah is the usual conduct of all prophets. As the Almighty Allah said, reporting the statements of Adam and Eve, they replied, Our Lord, we have wronged our souls. If you do not forgive us and have mercy, we shall be lost. Also, the Quran reports the supplication of Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, Lord, forgive me, my parents, and whoever enters my house as a believer. Forgive believing men and women. Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, asked Allah, saying, Our Lord, forgive me, my parents, and the believers on the day of reckoning. Also, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, asked Allah, saying, My Lord, forgive me and my brother, accept us into your mercy. You're the most merciful of all who show mercy. Allah said in the Quran to Prophet Muhammad, Prophet, bear in mind that there is no God but Allah and ask forgiveness for your sins and for the sins of believing men and women. Asking Allah for his forgiveness has many virtues including getting the mercy of Allah and the removal of one's sins. Allah said, yet anyone who does evil or wrongs his own soul and then asks Allah for forgiveness will find him most forgiving and merciful. Allah also said, why do you not ask forgiveness of Allah so that you may be given mercy? In a Qudsi hadith, the Almighty Allah said, O oh my slaves, you commit sins night and day, and I forgive all sins. So seek my forgiveness, and I shall forgive you. Also among the virtues of asking forgiveness from Allah is to get good worldly affairs, physical power and pleasure in the hereafter. As the Almighty Allah said, ask your Lord for forgiveness, then turn back to him. He will grant you wholesome enjoyment until an appointed time. Allah also said, my people, ask forgiveness from your Lord and return to him. He will send down for you rain in abundance from the sky and give you extra strength. Do not turn away and be lost in your sins. Among the virtues of asking forgiveness from Allah is to get plentiful sustenance. As the Quran reports to us, the saying of Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, to his people, ask forgiveness of your Lord. He is ever forgiving and will send down abundant rain from the sky for you. He will give you wealth and sons. He will provide you with gardens and rivers. What is the matter with you? Why will you not fear Allah's majesty? Another virtue of asking forgiveness from Allah is to get relief from worries and distresses. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, If anyone constantly seeks pardon from Allah, Allah will appoint for him a way out of every distress and a relief from every anxiety. 
and will and will provide sustenance for him from where he expects not all praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. Indeed, one of the virtues of asking forgiveness from Allah is that it is a manifestation of following the example of our Prophet, peace be upon him, who used to often ask forgiveness from the Almighty Allah, even though his Lord, glory be to him, has stated that he had forgiven all of his sins. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, I seek Allah's forgiveness and repent to him more than 70 times a day. Abdullah ibn Umar said, We would count messengers saying a hundred times during the single sitting, My Lord, forgive me and pardon me. Indeed, you are the oft returning with compassion and ever merciful. It is worth noting that the genuine istighfar, seeking forgiveness from Allah, is that one in which the tongue and the heart coincides together on the same meaning, which is showing regret before Allah for the sins committing, for the sins committed, and the intention and determination not to recommit these sins again. The Almighty Allah said, Believers, turn to Allah in sincere repentance, your Lord may well cancel your bad deeds for you and admit you into the paradise graced with flowing streams allah also said hurry towards your lord's forgiveness and a garden as well as the heavens and earth prepared for the righteous who give both in prosperity and adversity who restrain their anger and pardon people allah loves those who do good those who remember allah and implore forgiveness for their sins if they do something shameful or wrong themselves who forgives sins but Allah and who never knowingly persist in doing wrong the reward for such people is forgiveness from their Lord and gardens graced with flowing streams where they will remain how excellent is the reward of those who labor O oh Allah forgive our sins and protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world